On the 8th of February, we spoke about Metropolitan Police Sergeant George Pan... Pan... Panayi. Panay... Panayi. 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 Sergeant George, who was accused of following a female colleague into a toilet cubicle and grabbing and kissing the female on the face while she was in a van. He was facing a misconduct panel over these allegations. Sergeant George, part of the East Area Command Unit, has in fact managed to keep his job, although now he's a PC pervert instead of a sergeant pervert after being demoted. I guess they might have to think twice about firing people nowadays, seeing as they're going to be left with no staff whatsoever, especially at the rate these cretins are coming out of the woodwork. There were calls for Sergeant George to be sacked after accusations of persistent inappropriate behaviour, including kissing the junior colleague, pinching her cheek, and stopping the bathroom door from being closed while she was inside. The misconduct panel decided the kiss was not sexually motivated, but was unacceptable behaviour, particularly as the officer was trapped in a police van and could not avoid the unsolicited kiss. The misconduct panel found that the act of pinching the female officer's cheek, allegedly while she was trying to restrain a mental health patient, failed to treat his colleague with respect, and that his defence of it being a playful gesture to indicate to the patient that the officer was a nice person was not credible. After hearing the evidence surrounding him walking in on the female colleague in a toilet cubicle, the panel decided that the kiss, his pinching of the cheek, and his appearance in the toilet was not planned and were not part of a targeted campaign against his junior colleague. However, it found he did breach standards of authority, respect and courtesy by abusing his power. His actions were considered misconduct but not judged to be gross misconduct, which would warrant a dismissal. Sergeant George was already on a final written warning. Yes, he was already on a final written warning. You see, they can't afford to sack these cretins. So instead he had his rank reduced. I mean, who gets a written warning on top of a final written warning and keeps their fucking job? Incredible. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.